Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and this is going to be another book haul. I have been hanging on to this box of books since the beginning of August and adding to it so that now I almost have too much for one video. This is going to be a book haul predominantly of Christian fiction. Now I went to a book sale, a library book sale at the beginning of August and it was fill a box for five dollars and at that particular sale they had a lot of Christian fiction and they had so much I really had to pick and choose but I found some that were by authors that I was familiar with and then a few others that looked interesting to me that I had not heard of before then throughout the month of August and September I have run across several other Christian fiction books that I've added to my collection as well as a few that I got free from our friends at the library and so I want to show them to you in fact I got so many that I have taken out the ones that are Christian mysteries and cozy mysteries and I'm putting those in a separate haul because I just didn't want to make this video incredibly long. Now the majority of this haul is going to be fiction but at the very beginning let me get a few other miscellaneous ones out of the way. A couple of nonfiction, and then a couple of middle grade books that are Christian based and a couple of books of short stories and then a few audiobooks and then I'll move into the adult slash women's Christian fiction. Alright so the nonfiction books I have that are Christian based I got at a yard sale. A cousin of mine recommended this book to me quite a while back and I never did and I don't think our library had it and so I hadn't had a chance to read it but this is What Would Jesus Eat by Don Colbert MD and also by him I got the Bible Cure for Weight Loss and Muscle Gain. As I've mentioned on my channel before we did Atkins we did the Atkins diet almost all of last year and I really did like it and I am finally getting back onto it and getting back on track again because I did what the majority of people do when they go off of Atkins they gain their weight back and I have have headed down that road and I don't want to get all the way back to where I was so I thought maybe something like this would motivate me to get back on track with the um, with the weight loss I got a book about Fanny Crosby by J. Reginald Caswell. Fanny Crosby was a writer of hymns and poetry and her songs and hymns are well known by many. And it's funny, this has two subtitles. On the cover it's called The Blind Poetess and on the inside it's called The Sightless Songstress. It's just a beautiful cover and then on the inside there is a, uh, an old photo of her. So I am very interested to read this and I picked this up at the library fill a bag sale. And this has an inscription inside from a grandson to his grandmother and it's dated 1940. A couple of books of short stories that are inspirational. I got uh, Chicken Soup for the Mother and Daughter Soul. And I got another Philip Gully book of his short stories. This is called Hometown Tales. I got some Christian middle grade books. I got two books by Jeanette Oak. I already had these, but my copies were in horrible condition. So I decided to go ahead and grab these. The Prodigal Cat and Spunky's Diary. I have read almost all of Jeanette Oak's series books. I have not read very many of her standalones. And I have not read these books for young readers. So I do hope to get around to reading these pretty soon. One other middle grade book, I found the first book in the Elsie series by Martha Finley. This is Elsie's Endless Weight. A couple of media items that I got. These I got, uh, I believe, at the initial fill a bag for fill a box for five dollar sale. I got one video. Uh, it's David Ring. He, this man is just incredible. I have heard him speak in person several times. I've met him, and he's just so amazing. He ha he was born with cerebral palsy, and he just runs with it. He believes that that's how God made him to be and he's going to make the best of it and make that his testimony. So here's his, the quote on the front says, I have cerebral palsy. What's your problem? Um, he's just a phenomenal speaker and I I have his book called Just As I Am and I haven't read it yet but I'm going to, like I said, I've heard him speak several times and so when I saw this I couldn't resist picking it up. Here's an audiobook on cassette by James Harriet called Every Living Thing. I have yet to read a James Harriet book. I've heard wonderful things about him and I'm hoping maybe this will get me into the um, world of James Harriet. And then here's one I've already read. This is the radio theater version of The Mark. This is one of the Left Behind series by Tim LaHaye. I, uh, I have listened to nine of these books. The Mark I think was number, I think The Mark is number eight. But one of the earlier books I listened to um, this theatrical radio theater version and it was really good kind of like a radio drama so when I saw this I thought I would probably enjoy this too. The Mark is where 
I mean, everything really starts getting going from bad to worse. So um, I think I will enjoy this. All right, so now let me start with the authors that I'm familiar with. I found two Grace Livingston Hill books that I didn't have. One is called Recreations, and the other is Sunrise. I found some books by Grace Livingston Hill's daughter, Ruth Livingston Hill. This is The South Wind Blew Softly, The Homecoming, the, This Side of Tomorrow, Morning is for Joy. And then another book by Grace Livingston Hill's aunt, Isabella Alden, that I did not have. This one is The King's Daughter. All right, I got a couple more Jeanette Oak books that I had not read and that I didn't own. I got Another Homecoming. This she wrote with T. Davis Bunn. Now, I haven't read this one, but I have read their Song of Acadia series that she wrote with T. Davis Bunn, and I really like that one. So I figured I would probably like this one, too. And then this book, I believe, has two short stories. One is called The Bluebird, and one is called The Sparrow. And I've seen this around forever. In fact, I've seen it so much I thought I had it, but I came and looked on my shelf and realized that I didn't have it. And I got this one free so when I realized I didn't have it I decided not to pass it on to someone else and keep it for myself. Now I haven't read any of these yada yada prayer group books but I I got the first three when I was at a library book sale some time ago and they were doing a fill a bag sale and they had three of them in really good condition and it was such a great deal and I had just heard Ashley from Faithfully Moonstruck talking about reading them and and I hadn't even really thought about reading them but when I saw them there I decided to pick them up I still haven't read one yet but I think I have the whole series now the ones I initially got were books one two and four so I found book three the yada yada prayer group gets real book five yada yada prayer group gets caught book six yada yada prayer group gets rolling I found this at the bright light bookstore that I went to in Castleberry Florida I have to thank Shay from they call me Shay Shay girl she told me about the library that's in her area and that nearby there was a bookstore called bright light books and I found out that they have not only their regular store but also an overstock store that's only open on Saturdays so I got this at that store for two dollars and the same thing here I got book seven for two dollars yada yada prayer group gets decked out then I think I got this at the fill bag sale I just went to a few days ago. This is kind of, I think, a spin-off series, the Yada Yada House of Hope novels, and this one is called Where Do I Go? And by the way, these are all by Nita Jackson. I got one book by Lori Wick. I have read a couple of her other books. Uh, this one I've not read, A Place Called Home. And I got some books by Lori Copeland. I've only ever read her Morning Shade Mystery series, which I loved, and I hope I will like these as well. Two books from the same series, The Island of Heavenly Days, and Grace in Autumn. And then I believe this is a standalone, Now and Always, and Stranded in Paradise. Another author I have read is T. Davis Bunn. I mentioned before he wrote a series with Jeanette Oak called The Song of Acadia. Well, when they finished that series, uh, Davis Bunn and his wife took up where that other series had left off and continued on with a spin-off series called Heirs of Acadia. Now I don't have books one and two. I believe these are books three and four. The Noble Fugitive and The Night Angel and they're by T. Davis Bunn and Isabella Bunn. I got a Melody Carlson book called Someone to Belong to. This is from a series I'm not familiar with, the Whispering Pine series, but I've heard a couple people talk about Melody Carlson, how they really like her books. Um, the Reads with Pugs, she mentions, Mel she's always talking about Melody Carlson, and so I thought this would be good. And I've only read one book by her, it was called The Christmas Joyride, so I decided to pick this one up. This one looks like an Amish themed book called The Tattered Quilt by Wanda Brunstetter. All right, I've got a few more, and they are by authors I have not ever read. Um, so if you've read any of these or read anything by these authors, let me know what you thought. I got a book called Bachelor's Puzzle by Judith Pella, and I believe this has some sort of a quilt theme because it says, uh, it looks like it's from a series called Patchwork Circle. And I found two books in a series I was looking for. I had uh, previously gotten book three in a trilogy called... The Candlewood Trilogy by Delia Parr. Uh, it was in a bunch of books that I got free from my library, and then uh, and I decided to keep that one and look for books one and two. So I found Refining Emma at the big book sale at the beginning of August, and that's book two. And then just recently I found book one at the Kissimmee Fillabag sale, A Hearth in Candlewood. So now I have the whole trilogy, and I'm excited to read it. And I believe the setting of this trilogy is in a boarding house. I got Gardenias for Breakfast by Robin Jones Gunn, and this is from the Women of Faith fiction series. 
And then I think I actually got this one in July, but when I realized I was just going to do a whole Christian fiction haul, I decided to hang on to this one and put it in the box with the others. This is The Wedding Machine by Beth Webb Hart, and this is also from the Women of Faith fiction series. The rest of these are going to be from a series by a series that's published by Guidepost called The Tales from Grace Chapel Inn. And this one is by Annie Jones called The Time of Their Lives. I got this one at one of the many library sales that I went to. The rest of these I actually got from our church library. We are, our little church is disbanding, but we have a very nice library. And so the librarian decided to make the books available to members at uh, uh, each but each person could take 10 books. Well, Katie didn't want any, and Emily just wanted a couple of videos, and I was really interested in this Tales from Grace Chapel Inn series, and then also a Christian Cozy series that they had. And so she said, well, you can just go ahead and take all those, and that'll count for Katie's and for Emily's. <laughs> so that was really nice of her to give me this many. So the others I'll show, um, so the other, the mystery series I'll show in the other video. But let me show you these real quick. Promises to Keep by Rebecca Kelly. I think I have five or six of these books already. Um, so there were a couple that I already had that I left at church for someone else, but um, I just took the ones I didn't have. The Pipe Organ by Jane Orcutt. The Kindness of Strangers by Susan Meyer. Going to the Chapel by Rebecca Kelly. Life is a Three Ring Circus by Rebecca Kelly. Home for the Holidays by Rebecca Kelly. Hidden History by Melody Carlson. The Start of Something Big by Sunny Jeffers. Portraits of the Past by Rebecca Kelly. Going, Going, Gone by Julian and William Sharp. Rally Round the Flag by Jane Orcutt. Slices of Life by Judy Bear. Tempest in a Teapot by Judy Bear. Recipes and Wooden Spoons by Judy Bear. And one more Melody Carlson. This one is called Winter Wonders. These are so beautiful. I love these Guidepost series books. They do such a beautiful job with their covers, and they're so pretty to look at. And I've read a few already. I haven't read any of this series, but I have read a few of a different series that I've started. And uh, so far, I'm just in love with these Guidepost books. So I am excited to have these. Of course, when I'm done with these, I plan to pass them on to someone else and let them enjoy them too. But for now, I'm excited to have these on my shelf. So that's all for this video. As I said earlier, I'm going to have a Christian Cozy Mysteries video coming up soon. It won't be quite as big of a haul as this one, but if you're interested in Christian fiction, you'll want to check that out as well. So I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.